So in our previous video already we have discussed about your web jobs and how we can create your web jobs using different interfaces. Now here we are going to see how we can create and configure our web jobs for your web based applications into our portal. So let's begin with it. You can also create your web applications and we can add some jobs to your webs which we have also discussed that jobs can be created into your PowerShell, into your command line or into your .NET framework or by using your SDK. So I have a small um, PowerShell script which I have created where I want to upload this particular script into my web so that the application should trigger this particular thing uh, or trigger this particular update into my application. For example, web job one I have just defined here. Select the file to be uploaded. So I'm going to upload my document file where I have created untitled1.ps1. And now which kind of you know trigger do you want? So I want the continuous trigger and whether you want to scale it on your multiple instance or a single instance. So I will be using a single instance as of now and click on OK. So this is how generally you can add your web job. So into your PS file, you can contain what exactly you want to do with your applications, whether you want to trigger your applications multiple time or you want to test for your applications. So the code you need to write into your program, either through your CLI, either through your SDK, or your .NET. So whatever the generally updates you require or whatever the job you want to schedule for your web application, you can do it. As of now, uh, for a sample, I have just defined these two, get host information and the get history for the applications, uh, whatever we have created. So you can use this web job applications, you can schedule this web applications here, go into properties, you can see this is the complete uh, details of your web application and this is the password we have defined for your web application when you are running it. So this is how you can get access and you can create your web hook with the um, Azure application which we have connected and we have deployed through your GitHub. So GitHub will hook this particular application so whenever you create a web hook with it. So automatically what will happen into your uh, GitHub if you push anything automatically it will be deployed on this one. So whenever it is deployed so it will create a job it will get the history of it it will get the complete details of it. So this is how generally we create our web jobs into your application. So this is the web job created for my web application which we have created. So it is showing you this web jobs will provide you to easy way to run the scripts or the programs and the background process in the context to your application. So whatever the script you want to run into backend, you can define the script into any of the format into any of the platform you have created. So this we have seen how we can create your web jobs into your applications. In the next video, we are going to see how we can create your cross applications which will be running on cross, cross platforms.